Hi there, and welcome to Lalo's how-to video on the assembly of the Play Kitchen. We made it easy for you. All of the hardware is actually grouped by step in the hardware box, so just take that out and look for the step you're on to find the appropriate hardware. There are small parts here, so adult assembly is required, and be mindful of your little ones if they're around. In the box, there are a lot of wood pieces. We recommend that you take them all out and lay them on the floor and get acquainted with each name that you'll see in each step as you put it together. There are also some accessories. Put those on the side for when your kitchen is complete for your little one. We always try to make our products easier to assemble. We did our best here, but it will still take time and patience. But we're here if you get stuck. Just call or text us. Now that you've got everything you need, let's get to it. Step one, prepare the base. You're going to need the base panel, four machine bolts, and the four legs. Start by placing the panel face up with the groove facing up and take four legs and place them at the corner underneath the base panel. Then take those machine bolts and start by screwing them in by hand and finish up by tightening with the Phillips head screwdriver. That's it. Step two, assemble the center section of the kitchen. You're going to need the left mid panel, the right mid panel, the mid center shelf, oven door, some dowels, and two wood screws. Be sure you've correctly identified the left mid panel from the right mid panel. The rectangular cutout on each panel should be at the front edge when assembled, not the back. Start by taking the mid center shelf and two dowels. Add the dowels in the larger holes on either side. Then take the left mid center shelf and place the dowels into the larger holes. Flip it over and take a wood screw and screw it so the shelf is now secure. Then take the door and put the door pin into the hole above the shelf. Then take the right mid panel and put the other side pin on the door into the right mid panel. The dowel also fits securely there too. Then take your last wood screw and tighten it so that the right mid panel is now connected to the shelf as well. Step two is now complete. So take that center section and the base and let's get ready for step three. Step three, securing the center section to the base. You're gonna need those parts you assemble in step one and two and four wooden dowels. Simply take the dowels and put them in the holes at the center of the base. Then grab that center mid section and slide it on top of the dowels. That's it, pops into place. Step four, let's prepare the right end panel. You're going to need the right end panel, the towel bar, and two one inch wood screws. Let's start off by ensuring that you have the right end panel, as in the correct one, but also as in not the left one. You'll know it's the right one if it has two holes around two inches from the top of the panel on the inside. The vertical groove should also be on the inside towards the back so it aligns with the groove on the base. If that doesn't match what you have, stop. You've got the left panel. Start off by taking one screw and sliding it through the hole. Tighten it just a little bit and then take the other screw, push it through so the towel bar is on there, then tighten both screws. Step five, attaching the end panels to the base. You're gonna need the assembled base, the left end panel, the right end panel, and four one inch wood screws. Make sure you turn over the assembled unit so it's laying on its back. That center section might slip off a little bit, but just push it right back onto the dowels. Everything will get really tight once the countertop is on at the end. Start off by taking the left end panel and align it with the base. Put in a screw and tighten just a little bit. Don't tighten all the way. We're gonna need that wiggle room in a later step. Repeat the same thing on the right side. Make sure the towel bar is facing out. All right, we're almost halfway there. Go grab a drink. Step six, and maybe the fastest step, prepping the oven knob panel. You're gonna need the oven knob panel and five wooden dowels. Put two wooden dowels at either side of the oven knob panel and one directly at the top, right in the middle. Step seven, adding the doors and oven knob panel to your kitchen. You are going to need your assembled unit, your oven knob panel, your left door and your right door, as well as the back panels. Pro tip. Step seven takes a bit of balance. There's absolutely no screwing needed. However, remember how we didn't screw in those screws at the bottom of the base all the way? That's gonna give you wiggle room to get all your pieces aligned properly. 
Start off by taking the left door. Take the bottom pin and slide it into the hole in the base. Then take your oven knob panel, line it up with the pin at the top of the door, then open the door and slide in the left panel into those dowels on the left side of the oven knob panel. Make sure those fit in nicely. Now we're gonna move to the right side. Put the pin in the bottom of the base. Make sure that the oven knob panel goes into the top pin with the door open. And then take the right dowels and push it into the right side. We're gonna then take those back panels and slide into the grooves at the back of the kitchen. That's it, we're almost there. Step eight, prep the backsplash and the counter. For this, you need a lot of pieces. The backsplash, the backsplash shelf, three utility hooks, two wooden dowels, three small wood screws, two one-inch wood screws, the sink, the sink plug screw, the sink dowel, the faucet, and one one-inch wood screw. We're gonna start by putting on the utility hooks. Twist the utility hook on, and then tighten with a screwdriver. Once that's complete, we're gonna add the shelf. Take two dowels and put it into the back of the shelf. Attach it to the backsplash, and then take the remaining wood screws and tighten it to the backsplash. Now we're gonna get the sink on the countertop. Take the small wooden dowel and put it in the countertop. Then take your sink, slide it across the countertop on top of the dowel. Then take the sink plug screw and screw it into the nut. Then take the faucet and start screwing it into the base with your hands. Step nine, assemble the counter and the backsplash together. You're going to need the pre-prepared backsplash and counter and six one inch wood screws. The wood screws are gonna go down from the backsplash and then up from the countertop locking in position from both ways. Let's start by putting them down through the back of the backsplash. Put a screw into each hole and tighten with your screwdriver. Then flip over, find the three holes at the bottom and tighten those screws as well. We made it, step 10. We're gonna put the counter on your base. You're gonna need the assembled countertop and backsplash, the kitchen base, and four wood screws. You're also going to need the drawer and two shelves. Make sure the countertop lines up nicely with the dowels and the back panels slide into the groove at the bottom of the countertop. This will make getting it in a lot easier. Take the four wood screws and tighten with your screwdriver on both sides. Now just take your drawer and slide it into the open space. Take your shelves, put them in on an angle where the bottom is below the magnet with the open door. Close those doors and go grab your little one. We're done.